Hey guys, today I have a review and first impressions and demo for y'all and it is on, okay, this is a fancy name and y'all know I butcher fancy names, but it's the foundation, the Guerlain, Guerlain, I don't know, Lingerie de Peau Invisible Skin. So I just have a little mini sample size that I actually got with an online purchase. And this um, foundation retails for $59. You can get it at Sephora or Sephora.com. And uh, I have it on my face right now, actually. I really like, well, you know what? I'm not even going to get into it. Y'all are going to have to watch the rest of the video to see what I think about it. Let me tell you what they claim though. It is a one ounce bottle that you get for $59. I'm in the color O2 Beige Claire and they only have seven shades. So they claim that it is an invisible foundation that wears like a second skin. It also is supposed to have a radiant finish and it's supposed to catch the light in certain ways and make you look all fancy and radiant and so just keep watching the video if you want to see what I think about this foundation. Ooh. First of all, it's very um, liquidy. So I'm applying it with my beauty blender and I just put some on the back of my hand and dip my beauty blender into it. I have breakout galore on my chin. Can y'all see that? Disgusting. All right. Let's see. It feels really lightweight so far. Like, oh, it feels so good. I love using a beauty blender. It always feels so good. Okay, so there it is applied. I definitely would say it has a more luminous finish. I don't know if they claim that, but to me it definitely feels, it's not, it's not a matte finish. It has SPF 20 in it as well. It actually applied really, really easy. It does not, it's dry already. It does not feel tacky at all. It actually feels really, really, really lightweight. I like it so far. Um, I definitely think a beauty blender is the way to apply it because it's so liquidy. Uh, so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my finished makeup. Let me just say this stuff feels so good on my skin. It is 11.15 in the morning. And there it is. I mean, the blush and bronzer. I used a cream bronzer and it went on so smooth. I used, you know, blush and highlight and all of that. I did conceal under my eyes and, you know, I highlighted the, te the highlighting points of your face. But, um, I mean, I think the coverage would be uh, medium to full. I'm going to say medium coverage, actually. It's very lightweight on the skin. Like, I want to say this is the most lightweight coverage or lightweight foundation that I have ever tried. It feels like I absolutely have nothing on. It's amazing so far. So, um, it is a luminous finish, like I said when I was applying it. But it is so pretty. Like, I feel like this is a great color match for me. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. We are going to homeschool PE. We'll be there for a couple of hours. And then we're going to run to the store. So I'll be out and about all day. And I will check back in once in the middle of the day. And then I'll follow up at the end. So I will see you all okay, It is 2.45. So it has been three and a half hours, almost four hours. And we just got back from... Homeschool PE, we went to Chick-fil-A, and I got gas and ran a couple of errands. So, the foundation has actually held up pretty well. I feel like it has kind of gotten a little bit, like, one shade darker. I mean, it still looks good, but it doesn't look exactly how it did whenever it whenever I first applied it. I will say I like how it looks now better than when I first applied it. I really like this foundation so far. When I was driving down the road I was really trying to think and I was like okay 
A, it feels like I have nothing on my face at all. You know, it. I mean, it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation is really, really ultra lightweight, and I feel like this is even more lightweight than that, believe it or not. I feel like it actually has the same coverage, maybe a little bit more coverage than the Urban Decay one, but um, it definitely has the same finish, like a more radiant, luminous finish than a matte foundation, which is great for me because I have dry skin, especially in the winter. But um, so far, four hours into it, I really, really, really like it. I haven't touched it up at all. I actually didn't even set it with powder, but I did use a setting spray. I forgot to mention that. Just because I always use a setting spray, um, so I went ahead and did that, but I did not set it with a powder. Um, so I will check back in a little while. Okay, so it is 7.30 in the evening. I've had this foundation on now. I'm like off-centered. I've had this foundation on for about eight hours, a little bit more than eight hours now. And for the rest of the afternoon, we really just stayed home. We, you know, did schoolwork. I cooked dinner. Um, I left on my kids a little bit. One of my little guys is not feeling well, so I held him and cuddled him. And throughout the whole thing, this foundation really stuck through. So I would give this, you know, I mean, I would definitely give this a try. I don't think it's something that I'm like going to go run out and just get right now because I have a lot of foundations that I already use. But when I use one of those up, I might switch to this. Um, one thing, like I said earlier, whenever I checked in, it did kind of, I feel like it got a little bit darker. So like right here, I could tell, and then on my chin, it feels like it got a little bit darker, like it oxidized a little bit, but nothing like horrible. Um, sorry, I'm looking. I mean, it didn't really like get into my fine lines and wrinkles. It, I mean, really, I think it, it does a great job, and I would definitely consider buying the full size bottle, especially if I could get it, you know, when there's a sale or something. Um, because it was an outstanding foundation. It covered really well. I have a really bad breakout going on right now. So it did cover that fairly well. I'm definitely impressed with it and I would consider buying the, the full size of it. It doesn't replace my Urban Decay Naked Skin. That's my holy grail. And uh, I really like the Kat Von D Locket foundation, but I will say, between the Urban Decay Naked and the Kat Von D Locket, I feel like the coverage of this is right smack dab in the middle. So it's a little bit fuller than the Urban Decay, but not as full coverage as the Kat Von D. So I hope I made sense in all of this, and uh, be sure and click on uh, the description box below if you want to see everything else that's on my face. Also, I have two giveaways going on right now, so you know if you want to check that out, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!